Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, you have started the modeling of this particular car over here. So let's continue it. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, so let's go over here, let's go into the front view. Select the vertices. Slightly just adjust this stuff over here. Shuffle the <coughs> a bit up. All right. So we can just adjust this elements where it is required in this way. So let's go again to the front view over here. Also the side view. Let's put one swift loop. Let's select this edges, shuffle it down, go into the front view over here. You can just adjust this. Let's again put one swift loop, uh, slightly shuffle it behind over here. And now what I can do over here is like I can just go over here and let's add one loop so let's add one loop over here also <coughs> so I'll just add one loop select the vertices and let's just weld it again let's select this go into the front so definitely we'll just push this inside before that again extrude it down scale it select the edges weld it go into the front view so now if you see this stuff over here so this has to go inside so I'll just select this let's go into this front view and let's shuffle it inside okay. so we also have to make sure that we are matching the reference correctly over here so let's again extrude it over here select the vertices drag it over here again just drag it till here push it a bit out select the vertices and let's target weld it so we can do such changes over here And now I'll put one loop over here also so you can just weld it correctly over here and now if you see this part shuffle it over here adjust this <coughs> correctly over here and again put one loop over here so you can assign one loop assign one more segment or loop over here and now I can just extend this so slightly just push this up select the edges drag it over here like this that's totally okay we can 
adjust it accordingly so again select this edges again extrude it go into the front view just extend it till here so we can just manage it in this way also we need to put some loops over here also so we can just weld this all all right so this looks much better now just save your file once so now over here i've just adjusted it slightly we can just shuffle it further and if you see this from the front i can just adjust it correctly so we can do this stuff select this slightly just push it over here and let's extrude it a bit inside over here and this way so you can just put some swift loop over here correctly to give it a look like this now select the vertices press r scale and just make it straight a bit and let's just select this again select the edges go into this view side view and let's extrude the edge over here so we can just easily extrude this edges again let's use a swift loop so select the vertices and let's target weld this we can just do the stuff over here correctly now we can go over here we can also add some swift loops if needed correctly let's see by adding a knob toggle as you can see after adding a knob toggle let's go over here and let's give a symmetry modifier so i'll just go over here i'll just go into this
so we can just adjust this correctly and if it is not correct I'll just go over here select it in this way. So as you can see now we have just adjusted the stuff correctly so again I'll just delete this symmetry modifier again I'll just come out of this let's save the file once again so whatever details are there we have to do it <coughs> so let's again go over here and let's select this stuff so let's just select this and we can slightly okay so this is uh, actually a frame if you look at it correctly so if you want we can just adjust this uh, in this way but we'll make this normally and press shift and slightly we can shuffle it inside to give it a bit of a thickness over here go over here let's use a swift loop like this adjust it So wherever we need to add loops we can definitely add it so let's again go over here let's select this edges and let's shift and drag it inside extrude it down extrude it down and push this out in this so we can manage to adjust it in this way we can do this stuff so again go over here select the vertices it's going to add more and more loops just because of this so select the vertices target well target well target well Target well. Oops. 
we made some blenders uh, all right i'll try to extrude this and push it inside anyways so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial